So the other day, I made a couple commentary shorts, and I have to say, I really quite enjoyed myself. It's kind of fun to vent and talk into the mic and not do, like, hardly any editing. You know, I'm not sitting in front of my computer for eight hours trying to pump out a funny moment or, like, a really well-thought-out video. No, I'm, like, just sitting here talking. It's fucking easy. Show stupid gameplay, you know, and just upload a video. I'm really jealous of all these commentator channels. Moist Critical... Uh, who is it? Optimus, Birdman. They're living life on easy mode because this shit's easy. I could pump out a video a day if I really wanted to. This is like really, really easy. But that's not the point I'm trying to make in this video. Today I want to talk about the culture difference that has been happening over the past year or so. And most importantly, the shift that has happened when somebody tried to take down Trump's life. Like, I'm talking, the shift was near instantaneous. It's insane to see the pendulum go from being the farthest of the left for the longest damn time. And all of a sudden, whoop, it's over here on the middle now. It's in the middle. It's not in the right. It's in the middle. And you know what? I'm okay with that. Because guess what? We're free a little bit, bruh. I can say shit now, man. Fucking, I can't, like... Look, okay, look, here's my honest opinion on the bullshit that's been going on a while now. I don't like Chris Tyson. Chris Tyson is a fucking faggot. And not only is he a faggot, he's a fucking pedophile. That's even worse. Bro deserves to be sterilized. And the thing is, there's all these people like, whoa, how dare you call him that? How dare you? How are you transphobic in 2024? Why am I transphobic? Maybe because these guys like touching kids, you know? Bro deserves to be shot in the back of the head, and so do you, because you're fucking supporting this shit. There's like this thing, there's this dichotomy going on where it's like, why aren't you supporting this person's identity? Bro doesn't deserve an identity. He doesn't deserve to live once he does this type of shit. You understand? Bro deserves to be buried, alive, six feet under. And at this point, you do too because you're fucking defending these disgusting, fucking nasty ass people. Bro, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. I really don't get it. And this pendulum swinging to the middle is giving me the freedom to, not, to actually express my fucking opinions on this shit without being casted aside and going, whoa, you're a dirty fucking Republican right-winger, which I'm, I'm a bit right-wing, I'm not a Republican, but point being, look, yo, I can say these things now because the fucking pendulum is switching. Fuck you, fuck your fucking tranny people, fuck all this shit, bro. Y'all niggas are nasty, alright? This is disgusting, this is gross, bro deserves to be locked up in jail, hung upside down, and cut with a saw from his balls downwards, okay? Medieval torture style. Bro doesn't deserve this shit, okay? Fucking Dr. Disrespect too. Motherfucker's nasty. Don't be doing that shit to kids. Is it so hard to not talk to kids? I got a bit carried away there. The point being, the point I'm trying to make in this video is that the pendulum has been left for so long. Anybody who had a left-wing opinion, it was okay. If you had a right-wing opinion, you were, a, you were a terrible human, you were a Nazi, or a racist, you're all this... You know, the, the works, right? Because these people like using these words like Nazis and fascists when they don't even know what the fuck that even means. You know what I'm saying? So, point being, the pendulum is in the middle right now. And not only is it in the middle, it needs to fucking stay in the middle. These giant fucking gross, nasty people and these giant corporations who... Like, for example, there's a lot of websites now that are like a middle ground. Like, YouTube, I would say, is pretty middle ground when it comes to this type of shit, right? Like, they're not going to give you money for it, but you can still express your fucking opinion. And I'm okay with that. TikTok and Instagram and Facebook and all these other left-leaning bullshit corporations. Dude, I'm... Bro, I've been banned on TikTok seven times for no fucking reason, okay? I got projects that I have fucking shelved because I was trying to grow something and, like, just nah. I made an edgy joke about a pedophile, mini lad. I made a mini lad joke and I got fucking banned for it. But they allow someone like EDP445 to, like, subsist and grow his community on there. It makes no sense. These people are not your friends. These people are not okay, in my opinion. In my humble opinion, we need to throw rocks at them until they're no longer alive. So, in conclusion, the pendulum is on the middle. And the middle shall it stay. Because... It's good to see that all these people who have been left-leaning finally get a bit of their own medicine. All these cancel culture fucking assholes who are like, whoa, you can't do that. And then they cancel you, get you fired from your job, you know what I'm saying? They make you an outcast of society. All these people making fun of Donald Trump, wishing he was dead, these people are getting fired now. And it's about goddamn time that somebody, one of us, was like, oh, whoa, you can't be saying that shit. And then we cancel them. But see, here's the funny difference between... The left and the right. The left cancels you because you hurt their feelings, because you're trying to 
not agree with the fantasy world they live in, like saying that Chris Tyson is a fucking female, for example, right? That's a fantasy. Sorry, that ain't fucking happening. Bro's a dude. And then on the right, we're canceling, or they're canceling. Yeah, I'm going to say we're, because at this point, I'm aligning myself with them. On the right side, they're canceling because you guys are trying to fucking incite violence, bro. Y'all are really genuinely wishing that Donald Trump died. Y'all really, really, really wanted to see his fucking brains get splattered on live television. You guys are awful. It's a genuinely fucking scary that the mindset you guys have, the hatred y'all hold for just wanting this dude to be actually killed on live television because his politics don't align with yours because you were fed on a lie that he's some scary monster in the night. And before anyone goes, whoa, aren't you inciting violence because, you know, you want harm to come to pedophiles? Yes, I am. You want Republicans to have their brains splattered on live TV because they don't align with your political views? I want pedophiles thrown off cliffs because they touch kids and you should never touch a kid. I don't care if you're a Republican, a Democrat, a Christian, a church, a whatever, a fucking McDouble sandwich. I don't give a shit. You touch a kid, you're gonna fucking, you should not, you don't, you lose your right to live if you do that shit. Sorry, not sorry, but we are not the same. Moral of the story, the pendulum is straight dab in the middle and it feels good. Gaming is getting back on track. There's a lot of bad bitches in games now when there was like a while back with um, DEI crap, right? They had these ugly, fugly females, bro. I'm talking like, damn, man, where'd you get this bitch from? This girl came straight from fucking Memphis out of the fucking porterhouse, dog. Like, that's just nasty. Dude, fucking... It's great to see finally that, yes, it's recovering. We are recovering as a society, kind of. There's bad bitches in games. There's bad bitches in films. There's fucking, you know, the masculine roles starting to come back now. It's like, yes, video game studios are starting to like, like, yes, it doesn't matter what your skin is. It doesn't matter what the color of your skin is. It doesn't matter if you're a boy or a girl. We're going to tell a story and it's going to be fucking compelling and it's going to make you emotional as shit. Minus the new Assassin's Creed game. But we don't talk about that stain. We are healing as a society. Fucking Pizza Hut is bringing back their all you can eat. We are healing as a society, goddammit. And I am fucking happy. And you should be happy too.